Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radio. Hati namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan, ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Tonya Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This. 106.3 DWBR FM. Precalculus, Advanced Algebra, Intermediate Algebra, Trigonometry. Elementary Algebra, Geometry, Mga Aralin Dapat Tukasin, Mathematics Learning Area, Mathematics Kahit Saan, Kahit Kailan, Mathematics, Maaasahan Inyong Tututukan, Dito Sa 106.3, DWDRFM, Basta Dance Radio, Learning is Amazing! <laughs> Hello, good afternoon everyone! Kumusta po kayong lahat? Habang naghihintay kami ng time kanina, ang sarap pakinggan ng kantang Pasko sa Pinas. Lalot malamig dito sa booth. Ramdam na ramdam mo, malapit na ang Pasko. 15 days na lang. O ba? Diba? So happy Thursday afternoon to everyone. And dahil happy ngayon, at December 9, 2021, Happy Birthday to Ma'am Catherine Ordinario. Welcome to Mata Live sa Facebook Live. I'm Teacher Mari Feguillermo and I am Teacher Marilyn Juliano. We are your host for today. Oh, may kasama ako ngayon. <laughs> Hindi ako nag-iisa. Oh, Sir Sunny, hello! Kumusta, ka? Kumu- kumusta po kayo, Sir? Magpagaling ka, ha? Namimiss ka na namin dito. Hello po, Sir Sunny. It's mathematics time, my dear grade 9 learner. Yes! So please, what are you waiting for, our dear learners? Please get your learning activity sheets. And your ball pen, your pen, or ball pen, pen, <laughs> pencil, or whatever. <laughs> And join us till the end of this episode. That's right. With that, we would like to welcome our grade 9 learners from grade 9 Avocado, 9 Lansones, 9 Calamansi, 9 Dalandan, 9 Makopa, 9 Mingo, And nine Guyabano. Yes, special greetings also to nine Mendel, nine Pasture, nine Darwin, nine SPJ, nine SPA, Obra Sinagtala, and of course, sa aking tatlong sections. Mababait ang mga to at masisipag pa silang mag-send ng screenshots. Nine Atis, nine Chico, and nine Anonas. Welcome also, let's welcome also the discussants of today's session, the innovative master teacher one of mathematics learning area, teacher <laughs> Ma Corazon Akmal Molina, together with the very active and techy teacher Delma Ferrer Quaresma, she is also our Jamboard writer. Yes, o oh, diba, sangka pa, dito lang yan sa Doña Aurora. We would like also to acknowledge the electronic raffle coordinators, syempre, sila, hindi natin sila nakikita ngayon, pero syempre napaka-blooming ng mga ito at napaka-gagaling. Mm. Te- <laughs> teacher Marley J. Espiritu and Teacher Naida Valencia Mangabat. And of course, the radio script writer and presentation designer of today's session is none other than my co-host, Teacher Marilyn Martin Juliano. Yes, we would like also to extend our gratitude to the very hardworking and supportive technical specialist, yes. Teacher Gashel Rezon Guillermo, yes. and of course, you saw me lang dito kanina, Teacher Dennis Mendoza, yes. to our supervisory head of mathematics learning area, 
Ma'am Merlinda Dayao Dante, our very generous and supportive mommy. Yes, alam mo, habang kapag malamig dito, napapansin mo ang ating mga technical specialist, gumagwapo. Oo, oh, oh, oh. hiyang na hiyang nila dito sa loob ng boot. Diba? Special greetings also to our hardworking assistant principal, Ma'am Ruby Regal Guillermo, and to our fatherly officer in charge. The Chief Education Supervisor of the Division of Isabella, Sir Rodrigo V. Pasqua. Okay, let's have the Matroleta question number one. Simulan na natin, Ma Marife. Yes. Okay, don't forget to type her complete name, section, question number, and your answer to the comment box to have a chance of winning 30 peso worth of load. Sponsored by... Ma'am Ma Larna Tan Nevado. Thank you so much, Ma'am Larna, and God bless you more. So, ito na po ang question number one. Ayan na. Sino kaya ang unang mapalad na makakakuha o mananalo ng 30 peso worth of load? Ang ganda talaga ng screen natin. Wala pa yata. Yes. Question number, question number one na, Sir Jashel. Hindi pa, Sir. Hindi pa. Yung kay Ma'am Bell na yun. Wala kay Ma'am Bell mo po. Yung power point. Wala ka ulit. Ako na lang, ako na lang, sir. Ako okay, na lang. Sige, sige. ako na lang po. Talagang ganyan. Alam nyo sa mat kasi, uh, uh, our dear, ano, viewers. Uh, marami kaming application. Na. Okay, yan na. Okay, yan na. Okay, okay. Question number one. Oh, ayan na. Ang question number one. Rewrite the expression 5A raised to 2 third into radical form. Rewrite the expression 5A raised to 2 third into radical form. Three choices. A equals square root of quantity 5A cubed raised to, three, to the third power. B, cube root of quantity 5A squared. C, cube root of five, quantity 5A cubed. Yes, thank you, Teacher Marilyn. Okay, so this time may we have now the airing of the RBI lesson titled Blows of Radicals. Trigonometry Elementary Algebra Geometry Mga aralin na dapat tuklasin Mathematics Learning Area Mathematics Kahit saan, kahit kailan Mathematics maaasahan Inyong tututukan dito sa 106.3 Dance Radio Learning is Amazing! A wonderful day, our dear listeners, especially to our grade 9 learners. This is your school in the air in mathematics. mathematics. It is a great privilege that you can join us in another episode of Learning While Having Fun Through Radio. Make it a habit to tune in to our station 106.3 FM Dance Radio. I will be your host for today, Teacher Prince of Doña Aurora National High School. 
Let us start the day with positivity. I hope that you will enjoy learning while listening to your lesson. Please get your learning activity sheets together with your paper and pen. As preparation for the lesson, open your learning activity sheets on page 1 and make sure to take down important points presented in today's lesson. I hope all is set and you are now ready to learn from our lesson, which is all about derivation of flows of radicals. Here is your radio teacher, Teacher Benjaloo. Wonderful day, our dear grade 9 learners! I am Teacher Benjaloo and I will be with you for our lesson on radicals. on radicals. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Welcome to our lesson in Mathematics 9. Let's review your previous lesson about loss of exponents. What are the different loss of exponents? Product rule, ma'am. Quotient rule, ma'am. Power rule, ma'am. Negative and zero exponents, ma'am. Very good. If we get the product of x and x cubed, what would be the answer? x raised to 4, ma'am. That's correct. The answer is x raised to 4. How did you get it? I added the exponent of x. x times x raised to 3 equals x raised to 1 plus 3. The answer is x raised to 4, ma'am. Absolutely right. What law of exponent is that? Product rule, ma'am. That's right. We will use the laws of exponents in our topic today. But before that, let's start with the meaning of radicals. What are radicals? If P is a positive integer greater than 1 and M is a real number, then M raised to N over P equals the p root of m raised to n and the p root of m raised to n are called radicals. Excellent! The p root of m raised to n is a radical and the value of p should be greater than or equal to 2. The radical itself signifies square root. For example, if the square root of 25 is 5, then, 5 is square or 5 times 5 is equal to 25. What is the index of the square root of 25? The index is 2, ma'am. That's right. How about the radicand of the square root of 25? The radicand is 25, ma'am. You are correct. Radicand is the value inside the radical sign. Based on the illustration in your learning activity sheets, the p root of m raised to n, what is the index and what is the radicand? The index is the variable p while the radicand is the variable m ma'am. Excellent! p is the index while m is the radicand. How about the variable n? What do you call on n on the given expression? n is the exponent of the radicand m mod. That's correct! n is the exponent of the radicand m. Can we have a negative value in our radicand? Yes, ma'am! Yes, we can have. But what is the condition if we have a negative value in our radicand? Radicand can have negative value if the index is odd number, ma'am. Absolutely right. We cannot calculate the square root of a negative number, but cube root of a negative value can be calculated. For example, the cube root of negative 27 is negative 3 because negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to negative 27. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am! We will proceed to the loss of radicals after a short reminder.
Hello, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. I have just finished accomplishing the task found in my module. How can I send you my outputs for checking and feedbacking? Oh, that's a nice question. There are actually three ways for a student like you to submit your outputs. One, it could be via online. That is, if you are capable to connect online. You can just upload your outputs in your Google Classroom or you can take pictures and send them through your group chat or messenger account. Ma'am, how about if we do not have internet connection? If you do not have internet connection, you can submit your accomplished tasks in two ways. One, you can ask your parents to submit your outputs in the designated drop-off center. Two, you can save your outputs if you have available flash drive, CD, or DVD at home and submit it in the designated drop-off center in your respective barangay. Wow! It's nice to know that there are varied ways on how we can submit our accomplished task. Always remember, for submission of outputs, you can do it via online, offline, or physical submission. Because at dance, we make amazing things possible. We're back! Yay! Are you ready for the loss of radicals? Yes, ma'am! Please look on example 1.a on your learning activity sheets. Simplify the cube root of 5 raised to the third power. What is the answer if we simplify the cube root of 5 raised to the third power? The cube root of 5 raised to the third power is 5, ma'am! Brilliant answer! How did you get 5 as your answer? If I will convert the cube root of 5 raised to 3 into rational exponent, the answer will be 5 raised to 3 over 3 or 5 raised to 1, ma'am! Great job! Since the index and exponent are the same, the rational exponent will be equal to 1. In 5 raised to 3 over 3, the exponent of 5 will be 1. So the answer is 5. What law of radical is that? Power rule, ma'am! That's, That's right. right! Just like the power rule in the laws of exponents, if a quantity a to the m power raised to 1 over m, we will multiply m by 1 over m. That will give us a raised to m over m. m divided by m is equal to 1. So, a raised to 1 is also equal to a. Did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Let's now proceed to the second law of radicals. Let's go. What is the second law of radicals? Product rule, ma'am. Correct. How do we use the laws of exponents in deriving the second law of radicals? We apply the power of a power as a product of the laws of exponents, ma'am. Very good! As illustrated in your learning activity sheets, quantity AB raised to 1 over M will become Mth root of A times mth root of b in radical form. How did it happen? First, we distribute the exponent 1 over m to a, b, then we write the rational exponents into radical form, ma'am. That's correct! If we distribute the exponent 1 over m to a, b, a and b will be raised to 1 over m. Its radical form will be nth root of A times nth root of B. How will you get the product of nth root of A and nth root of B? If the indices of the radicals are the same, then multiply the radicals, ma'am. Magnificent! The product of nth root of A 
and nth root of B is nth root of AB. Are you ready for the example in 2 point B? Yes, ma'am! Let's apply the product rule to simplify square root of 12. What are the factors of 12? That one of the factors should be a perfect square and is the highest perfect factor of the given number. 4 and 3, ma'am. 4 is the perfect square factor and it is the highest perfect factor of 12. Absolutely right! The simplified form of square root of 12 is 2 square root of 3. Did you get it, my dear learners? Yes, ma'am! We will continue after this infomercial. Naku! Malapit na ang pasahan ng outputs! Ah, retrieval time na naman! Narito ang mga dapat mong tandaan sa pagpasa ng outputs mo ka doon yan. Tiyaking nakasulat ang iyong pangalan sa bawat subject na iyong ipapasa. Oops! Huwag din kalimutang isulat ang iyong seksyon kung saan ka kabilang. Mahalagang lagyan din ng label na Week 1, Week 2, 3 o 4 ang iyong outputs kung anong aralin. At bilang nito upang malaman ng guro kung kumpleto ang iyong ipinasang outputs sa bawat linggo. Kadonyan! Maaari, isulat din ang pangalan ng iyong guro sa bawat subject. Kung may color coding, sundin ito upang madaling malaman ng iyong advisor at maibigay sa tamang guro. Paghiwalayin ang mga sagot ng papel sa bawat subject. Huwag paghaluin ang iyong mga sagot sa dalawang subject sa iisang papel. Kung masusunod mo ang mga ito, tiyak ang mga guro ay hindi malilito. Sa pagpasa ng mga outputs, tiyaking maayos at organisado. Ayusin ang output patay sa mga sumusunod na bawat aralin. Una, sagot ng mga gawain. Pangalawa, Reflection. Pangatlo, lingkuhang pagtataya. At pang-apat, summative test kung, kung mayroon. mayroon. Isang paalala mula sa pamunuan ng Tonya Ororo National High School at ng istasyon ito. We're back! Let's now proceed to the third law of radicals. In the expression, quantity A over B raised to 1 over m, what is the first step to rewrite the expression into radical form? Distribute first the exponent 1 over m to the numerator and denominator, ma'am. That's correct! After we distribute 1 over m to a and b, what's next? Rewrite the expression a raised to 1 over m over b raised to 1 over m into nth root of a over nth root of b, ma'am. Brilliant answer! Is nth root of a over nth root of b the final answer? No, ma'am. Then, what's the final answer? Express nth root of a over nth root of b as single fraction, ma'am. So, the answer is nth root of A over B. That's right! Express a single fraction since they have the same indices. So, the answer is nth root of A over B. Are you now ready for the example 3.A? Yes, ma'am! Okay! Simplify the square root of 16 over 81. How will you simplify square root of 16 over 81 using quotient rule? Just distribute the square root in numerator and denominator. Then extract the square roots, ma'am. Definitely! Distribute the square root in numerator and in denominator means... Square root of 16 over square root of 81. Then, what is the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16, ma'am. That's right! So our numerator is 4. How about our denominator? What is the square root of 81? 
The square root of 81 is 9, ma'am. Very good! The value of the denominator is 9. So, the answer is 4 over 9. Did you get it, my dear learners? Yes, ma'am! Wow! We're done with the discussions. Thank you for staying with me. Let's now proceed to the activities in your learning activity sheets. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. In activity 1, identify what law is best applied to the given radicals. Write PR if power rule, POR if product rule, and QR if quotient rule on the spaces provided. Again, write PR if power rule, POR if product rule, and QR if quotient rule. Let's do number one. The square root of 8 is equal to 2 the square root of 2. What law is best applied to the square root of 8 equals 2 the square root of 2? Ready? Go! P-O-R, man. Very good! It's P-O-R or product rule. It is the best law applied to the square root of 8 equals the square root of the product of 4 and 2, which is also equal to 2 the square root of 2, which is the product rule. You can continue answering the rest of the items after this episode. Let's now have activity number 2. You are to choose the letter of the correct answer and write the letter of your answer on your paper. Number 1. Square root of A raised to B. What is the letter of the correct answer? Again, square root of A raised to B. Ready? Go! Letter N, ma'am. Congratulations! It's letter N. Square root of A raised to B. You did a great job. For those who did not make it, I know you can do it next time. Continue answering and be honest in checking your answers. Anyway, the answers are already provided at the back of your learning activity sheets. So before we'll end up, May we have a recap after the short break? Do you encounter problems in accomplishing the different activities in your modules or learning activity sheets? Worry no more because your teachers are always ready to guide and assist you. You can send your questions or clarifications in two easy ways. One, call or text. And two, private message. So easy, right? Remember, at Doña Aurora National High School, we make amazing things possible. This reminder is brought to you by Doña Aurora National High School in this station. We're back! Let's have a recap of what we have discussed today. What are the different laws of radicals that we used? Power rule, product rule, and quotient rule, ma'am! Correct! What other math concept was discussed today? The laws of exponents and rational exponents, ma'am! That's right! Now, how can we use radicals in everyday life? Radical expressions can be used by financial industries to calculate formulas for inflation caused by COVID-19 pandemic, ma'am. Radicals can also be used by doctors in determining the dosage of a drug to give to a patient, ma'am. I can also use radicals in solving area and volume problems, ma'am. Amazing answers! 
radicals can also be used in calculations and measurements. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today and you have mastered all the concepts discussed. You will apply these concepts during the assessment, so please don't forget them so that you will be able to perform well in the given assessment. Thank you for listening. I hope that you have learned amazing things from today's lesson. If you still have questions on how to do the activities, you can message or call your teacher in Mathematics 9. Until the next episode of Fan Field Learning in Mathematics 9 through radio. I am Teacher Benjelu R. Paraiso. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Thank you very much, Teacher Benjelu, for a very informative day. Take note, my dear learners, you can submit your output online through Facebook, Messenger, or Google Classroom so that you don't have to submit the hard copy. You may also post your pictures while listening to the radio in your respective Facebook groups. Don't forget to write the details and the things that you have learned today as your caption. Also, don't forget to strictly follow the necessary health protocols that our government has issued when submitting your outputs. Make sure to tune in to our school's radio station, Dance Radio, where learning is amazing. Next week for another amazing math lesson. On behalf of the production team, we would like to thank our very own script writer, Teacher Marilyn M. Juliano. Our editors and quality assurance team, Ma'am Merlinda D. Dante and Ma'am Beverly Ramirez. And of course, our radio host, yours truly, Teacher Prince Bugawisan and our technical specialist, Teacher Rufino Pomeda Jr. Before I bid you all goodbye, I want to leave you this quote from Raymond Williams. To be truly radical is to make hope possible rather than despair convincing. Again, this has been your host for today, Teacher Prince Bugawisan. Goodbye! Precalculus Advanced Algebra Intermediate Algebra Trigonometry Elementary Algebra Geometry Mga araling na dapat tuklasin Mathematics Learning Area Mathematics Kahit saan, kahit kailan Mathematics maaasahan Inyong tututukan dito sa 106.3 Dance Radio Learning is amazing! Wala nang makakapigil pa. Sulo, Arangkada, 106.3. Dance Radio, sa Aurora, Isabela. Edukasyo'y susulong, basta na magtulong-tulong. Susulong at magkalitan, Dance Radio. back and thank you for still tuning in to Math Alive sa Facebook Live. The RPI discussed the different laws of radicals. To know more about radicals, please keep tuning in and listen to our discussions after answering the Math Roulette question number one. Teacher Marife? Yes! O ba? Alam ko marami kayong natutunan sa ating RBI lesson. Okay, so... May we have now, sa mga, kung nakinig kayo kanina, masasagot nyo ng tama yung unang tanong sa ating matroleta question. So may we have now the 10 
students who got the correct answer. Okay, ang sagot po ay letter B. So, the answer is the cube root of the square of 5A. Okay. So, congratulations to Gerson Tomas of 8 Crimson, Natasha Pertan of 9 Darwin, Jewel Lacanilao, ito na naman, nagniningning na naman si Jewel, of 9 SPJ, Almira Calamayan, Banyaga of 9 SPJ, Charmel Ramirez of 9 Lansones, Glaisaan Salvador of 9 SPJ, Melanie Sagusio of 9 Mendel, Hans Galinato of 9 SPJ, Ismael Pascual of 9 SPJ, Marielle Guya of 9 Makopa. Bakit? May hinahanap ako. Bakit walang anonas? Atis at saka Chico dito. Okay, spin na natin. Okay. And... Congratulations to Natasha Pearl Tan. Okay. Siya ang nanalo ng... 30 peso worth of load. Congratulations, Natasha Pearl Tan. Congratulations, Natasha. And of Natasha. course, special greetings also sa ating mga nanonood ngayon, si Ma'am Shirley Arimbuyutan. And of course, my husband. Wow. Nanonood siya. <laughs> okay. May we give now the uh, question number two. Yes, congratulations, Natasha. Okay, the question number two is, Simplify quantity cube root of 2x cube. Ulitin ko po, simplify quantity cube root of 2x cube. A, 2x. B, square root of 2x. C, cube root of 2x. For send your complete name, your section, the question number, and your correct answer to the comment box. Okay? Now, let's play... Mama Rife, let's play Four Pigs, One Word. Aha! Take two, take two. Ulit natin. One, two, three, go. Four Pigs, One Math Word. Okay. Sige na. Ready na kayo mga anak. Mama Rife. Okay. So I know you are familiar with this game. Minsan favorite ito ng mga bata. Four pictures are given leading to the one mathematical word. Just type your answer in the comment box with your name and section. Ano kaya ito, Teacher Marilyn? Yes. Are you ready, my dear learners? Let's have the first math word. Sige na, i-comment sa ating comment box. Ano kaya itong word na to? Okay, so... Tignan natin kung may nakakuha na. Meron na ba nakapagbigay? Or hintayin ba natin na... Ito yung first letter. O, ayan na. Ang unang letter ay... R. Wow, letter R. Sige, send nyo kung ano kayo yung word. O, letter R. As in... Ayun, meron na. Natasha Perlton na naman. Natasha Perlton again. Ang sagot ni Natasha ay radical. Wow, radical. Ang sagot ni Natasha Perlton. So si Natasha ay mananalo ng... Nang mananalo ng ano? Nang isponsoran ni Teacher Marilyn. 10 pesos worth of clothes. O, hitayin mo Natasha. Ang 10 pesos worth of clothes. Oo. Yes, nagbigay, nagsabi din ng sagot si Hans Galinato, Julian oh. Garente, Josel Yalon. Ito na, question number two na. I, I mean, math question, uh, word number two. Okay, Ayan. number two. Sige, ano kaya ito? Ano yung number Ang two? Ang <laughs> Ano kaya ito? Related to sa topic natin yeah, ngayon. Gusto ko yung pang-apat na picture. Yung, ah, dali, dali lang. Yes. Sige, ano kaya ito? Hi, <laughs> Letter word. Wow. For, yan. Ano? Ismael Pascual of 9SPJ. Yes! Wow. 9SPJ ulit? Index. Tingnan nga natin. Wow. Ito, ano yung sagot ni Ismael, Ismael Pascual. Pascual. Pascual of 9SPJ. Okay. 9SPJ. 9SPJ. Congratulations. Yes! Okay. So, May chance pa yung iba. Third Another. Word. Third word na tayo. Ay, ito, third word. Ang dami naglagay ng tamang sagot ha. Ayan. Okay, ano tignan natin. Ito? Ano kaya yan? Ano Anong kaya? letter kaya ano? ito? <laughs> ano, yung mga, ano yung mga letter E? E, okay. Letter E, at sino kaya? Letter E. 
Start with letter E. Sige, magsenda kayo ng sagot. Okay, sige. Ayun, meron na from Kimberly Mendoza of Nine Darwin. Wow! Anong sagot? Ang sabi niya ay X-Colnet. Yes. Oh, ang galing ni Kimber. Kimberly. Linley. Kimberly Kaingat okay. Mendoza. Okay, Kimberly Mendoza. Congratulations. Parang last na yata okay. ito. Okay, so. Last word. Last na, last. Last na. Ang okay. galing. Three. Oh my God. Ipaglaban mo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pag may katulira nito. Yan yung mga. mga. <laughs> Three letter words. Yan, tatlong letters lang. Sige, tayo natin. Oh, wow, yan. Edesa Santos of Nine Lansones. Edesa Santos of Nine Lansones. Congratulations. Yes. Anong sagot, sagot niya? Lo. Wow, Lo. Okay. Edesa. Congratulations sa apat na nanalo. Natasha Pearl Tan, Odessa Santos. Ay, Edesa. Edesa Santos, Kimberly Mendoza. Kimberly Mendoza, Mendoza and si... Sino si isa? <laughs> mamaya, shoutout ko mamaya. Nakalimutan ko yung isa. <laughs> okay, so... Ne, napukaw ako. <laughs> This time, may we call on the Master Teacher 1 of Math Learning Area, Teacher Maria Corazon Akpal Molina and Teacher Delma F. Quaresma to discuss the learning competencies and to review radicals. Thank you, Ma'am Marife, for the nice introduction again. So before I will proceed, may I greet my grade 9 Dalandan and 9 Makopa. A pleasant afternoon to all of you. And likewise to my grade 10 Nara, Talisay, Tangile, and Tindalo. Hindi ako nawawalan ng pag-asa, Ma'am Marife. Yes, <laughs> Matagal pa ito. Kung may SPJ, SPA, Lalaban ang mga estudyante ko mamaya. Hintayin nyo. Okay. Surprise. So, we have two learning competencies today. We will derive the laws of radicals. And, of course, we will simplify radical expressions applying the laws of radicals. Okay? Those are the two competencies which we are going to tackle today. So, may we have Ma'am Delma for the trivia. Ayan. Hello. Good afternoon. Siyempre, pa-shoutout sa aking mga SPJ na sobrang active today. Nakakatuwa. At siyempre, ang aking mga studyantes ng SPA. So, for our trivia, let's have radicals. Radical from late Latin. Radicalis, meaning of roots. And from Latin, radix. Meaning root may refer to mathematics and science. Radical, also called free radical. So, merong tinatawag na free radical ha in chemistry. It means mole molecule that contains at least one unpaired electron. And that's our trivia about radicals. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, we will review first the parts of a radical. Alam ko na, alam na ninyo kung ano yung mga parts ng radicals. Okay? Previously, in grade 7, I think, and grade 8. And last week also. So what are the three parts of radicals? We have here, you can see, uh, in the example that we have, that is the fourth root of 5x. 4 is what we call the index. Yung nakikita ninyong number doon sa uh, kaliwang bahagi, upper left corner of the radical sign is what we call the index and that is 4. Then we have also the radical sign. Ayan, yung parang sa division. Kaya lang, may konting... At, uh, ano yun? Pag ganyan. And then we have also 5x as... The radicand. The radicand is the numeral or the si radic uh, variable under the radical sign. Nasa ilalim ito ng square root sign or radical sign. That is the radicand. What more, Ma'am Delma? Okay, so let's conti continue. This time we're going to re review 
rewriting rational exponents into radical. So, meron tayong example na nakikita nyo, ra rational exponent. So, rational kapag yung exponent niya ay fraction. So, we have 2x raised to 3 fourths. Pag fraction, pwede na natin siyang isulat in radical form. So, we have, o tingnan nyo mabuti mga anak, yung denominator ay index at yung numerator ay exponent ng radikan. So, yung, na, yung nasa taas ay nasa loob ng radical sign, samantalang yung number sa baba ng fraction, your denominator, ang nasa labas ng radical form. So, pag tinignan natin ng rational exponents, that would be exponent and index. Yung 3 ay exponent ng radikan at yung 4 ay index sa radical natin. So, we have 2x raised to 3 over 4 is actually fourth root of uh, the quantity 2x to the third power. Yan. So, this time, meron na ba tayong winners? Okay. Meron na ba tayong so, winners for Matroleta question number 2? Yes, thank you Teacher Dalma and Teacher Cora for a very clear explanation. <laughs> So Sir, now, okay, okay. so while waiting for the first Pwede 10, naman. first 10 students who got the correct answer, so uh, shout out sa ating 6,200 na viewers, okay, so meron tayong 6,200 na viewers, talaga naman napaka-active ang ating mga grade 9 at syempre sinamahan pa yan ng ating grade 10. Diba? Kahit in grade 7, grade 7 meron din, kahit pa paano, may grade 7 at meron din grade 8. Okay, yung mga nasa lower grade. So, thank you. Okay, so hindi siya first 10, first 8. Okay, mukhang mahirap yung tanong. Kasi bakit kulang ng dalawa? <laughs> okay, so meron na? Pwede, oh, sige, dagdag natin yung dalawa. Okay, so, so meron na tayong first 10. So the answer is letter A, 2X. Congratulations to Yuan Jamlid. Jamlid. Hamlid. Okay, Hamlid of 9 Darwin. Jaya Malaika Oralio La Peña. Of? Of, wala, hindi, ay, and, eto na si Ismael Pascual, eto pala yung, nanalo hindi ko nabanggit kanina, eto yung isa sa mga nanalo ng four pick, uh, one math word, okay, si Ismael Pascual of 9SPJ, Natasha Perlton of 9 Darwin, Kimberly Kaingat of 9 Darwin, Lovelyn Jane Fabro of 9SPJ, Jewel Lacanilao of 9SPJ, Charmel Ann Ramirez of Nine Lansones, Beyonce Lucero of Nine Dalandan, and Sabi Mark Denver Blanza of Nine Anonas. Yeah. Oh, di ba? <laughs> Meron na kong isa. <laughs> di ba, Mami Kors? Huwag tayo mawala ng pag-asa. Okay, so, spin na natin. Wow, si Charmel. Si? <laughs> Excited. Okay, yan na. Sino kaya? <laughs> A lovely Fabro of 9 SPJ. Congratulations, lovely Fabro of 9 SPJ. Okay, Ayan. so... Salamat po sa ating sponsor, si Ma'am Larna Tan Nevado. Thank you so much po. nag -e enjoy po ang ating mga learners dahil po sa ating papremyo na 30 pesos worth of load. Malaking tulong po sa kanila ito. Okay. So, nasa na tayo? Okay, may we now give the uh, roleta question number three. Yes, congratulations. Lovely, lovely Fabro. Lovely Fabro. The math question number three is, 
Identify what law is the best applied to the given radical. Identify what law is the best applied to the given radical. Cube root of 1 over 125 equals 1 fifth. Litin ko po, cube root of 1 over 125 equals 1 fifth. A, power rule. B, product rule. Or C, quotient rule. Yan na, isend na ang inyong mga yes. sagot. Yes! So, let's now proceed to the discussion of the loss of radicals and walkthrough of learning activity sheets by the Active Master Teacher 1 of Math Learning Area, Teacher Ma Corazon A. Molina, and Teacher Delma F. Juarez. Thank you again, Ma'am Marilyn. Sabi ko na nga sa inyo kanina, hindi ako nawala ng pag-asa. <laughs> Thank you, Biancy Lucero of Nine Dalandan. Okay, so we now have the laws of radicals. We have the first, the power rule. Second is the product rule and the quotient rule. So tatlo ito. Let us start with the power rule. What is the power rule? So we consider the radical, the m root of a raised to m. What do you notice? Uh, perhaps you can notice that the exponent m in the uh, the exponent m in the radicand is the same as the index in uh, the same as the index i should say so m is equal to m now if you're going to simplify that that will be equal to a perhaps you can remember the rule uh, the rational exponent is uh, no the rational expression i should say is a raised to m over m if you simplify that again, that would, that would be equal to A. Parang ganun yun. Okay? Or, it can be uh, the quantity M root of A raised to M is equal to A. Pareho ang dalawang ito. What will you do to simplify? Divide the exponent M by the index. So, I will repeat. Divide the exponent M by the index. Kapag dinivide mo yan, ang quotient niya is 1. Okay? That is the power rule. Mamaya, i-discuss ni Ma'am Delma yung mga examples. We proceed with the product rule. What is the product rule? It says there, the m root of A multiplied by the mth root of B. Take note, the two indices are the same. Okay? This will be equal to the mth root of the product of A and B or the mth root of A, B. What will you do? Just multiply the uh, radicands A and B of uh, if the indices are the same. Kapag pareho ang kanilang index, multiplyin ang dalawang Radican. So that is for the product rule. What about the last? That is the quotient rule. The quotient rule is the mth root of A divided by the mth root of B, which is equal to the mth root of A over B. Anong nangyari dito? Pareho yung indices niya sa numerator, the index is M. In the denominator, the index is also M. So pareho sila. Nung gagawin, pag-isahin na lang. Iisang radical na lang. So, we have uh, the mth root of A over B. What will you do? The rule says, divide the radicands A by B. If the indices are the same. Huwag niyong gawin ito kapag hindi pareho ang kanilang mga indices. Siguro naman, simple lang naman yan. Let's proceed with the explanation of Ma'am Delma for the examples of each law. Okay, Ma'am Delma, take it away. Thank you, Ma'am Cora. Now, let's have the examples for these um, laws of radicals. One for power rule, one for product, and one for the quotient rule. And we're going to use, of course, our Jamboard. So, palipat po ng Jamboard, sir. Thank you. So, we're going to simplify the given applying the laws of radicals. So, nakasulat na dyan. Number one, 
5 times cube root of 2x raised to the third power. So sabi ni Ma'am Cora kanina, what do you notice? Yung index and yung exponent ay pareho. Kaya yan, pareho yan. We divide it 3 divided by 3. Kaya lang may 5 tayo dito mga anak. Huwag niyong kalimutan yun. So that is 5 times. Ito ay masisimplify na as 2x. So that the answer is 5 times 2x, 10x. So that is for problem number one. So for problem number two, we have a square root of 32. Sample naman natin ito sa product rule. Square root to. So for 32, we need to think of factors of 32 dahil ang index natin dito ay 2. Anyway, ang 2 hindi natin sinusulat. Pag nakita natin yung radical na walang index, ibig sabihin nun ang index niya ay 2. So that is square root of 32. Meron bang factors ang 32 na perfect square? Okay. O isip-isip, meron. Ano yon? That is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Ano yung 16 natin? Para mapakita natin yon. Ang 16 is actually... 4 is squared. Okay. 2 ito, 2 yon. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? Magiging? Ah. So, we have 4. Kaya lang meron pa tayong natitirang 2 sa loob kasi hindi naman siya perfect. Is square. So, 2 divided by 2, that's 1. That's why we have 4 here. A square root of 2 which is now the answer for item number Two, para sa number three natin, which shows you the quotient rule. Okay. Ang index natin ay three. So, meron tayo ditong eight, eight to the sixth power over 64, B to the ninth power. Pwede muna tayong kung masisimplify natin, eight tsaka 64, pwede natin isimplify yan, di ba? So, that is divided by eight, divided by eight, magiging... 8 to the 6 over eight, 64 divided by 8 is 8. B to the 9. Okay. Ano pa? Yung 8 ay pwede nating isulat as 8 to the 6 over C8 si ay actually 2 to the third power. B to the ninth power. Masyadong maigsi yung paa niya. Yan. Okay. So, apply naman natin ngayon si power rule. 6 tsaka 3, pwede yan. So, we divide, sabi ni Ma'am Cora kanina, 6 divided by 3, so that is A is squared. 3 ito, 3 yon so that will be 2 na lang siya. And then B, raised to 9, ang ay, quotient, Ang exponent niya ay 9, ang index ay 3, so we divide 9, divided by 3 is B, ayaw niyang sumulat, B cube. So our answer for problem number 3 is A is squared over 2B cube. Okay, sana na, sundan mga anak ha. Anyway, kung medyo nabilisan kayo, pwede niyong panuorin ulit mamaya para pwede niyong ipost. Okay, so that's it. Tuloy po natin. Back to you, Ma'am Cora na ba? Yes. Okay, thank Mami. you. Thank you, Teacher Delma. So let us proceed with the run-through of the learning activity sheets. Uh, my dear grade 9 learners, please open your uh, learning activity sheets for week 3 on page 3. Okay? So we have activity 1. The direction is... Sir Joshel. Sir Joshel. PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Nagbabasa ako. Wala na. Sir Joshel. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Nagbabasa ako pero wala akong binabasa. <laughs> okay. Again. Uh, may I request the grade 9 learners to bring out their learning ati activity sheets for week 3 on page 3 because we are going to answer some of the items in activity number 1. The direction is, 
identify what law is the best applied in the following radicals. Write capital letters P R if it is a power rule, P O R if it is a product rule, and Q R if it is a quotient rule. Number one is square root of eight, which is equal to two square root of two. Ano kaya ang sagot nito? Where do we get two square root of two? Eight is not a perfect square. The index is two, so if we factor natin ang eight, and eight is factored as four, the square root of eight is the same as the square root of four times two. Since four is a perfect square, then the square root of four is two, kaya may two doon. And the square root of two, two is not a perfect square, so manatili siya sa loob. So the answer is two square root of two. And this is, what is the rule? That is the product rule, P-O-R. Okay? Number two, that is... 4 times the cube root of 7 cube is equal to 28. Paano nakuha yung 28? This, uh, mapapansin ninyo yung exponent ng exponent at index ng radical, which is the cube root of 7 cube. Let us apply the rules that were uh, discussed while ago. Uh, the cube root of 7 cube is 7 cube. And 7 times 4 is 28. Anong rule ito, Ma'am Del? Okay, that is the power rule. Okay, and the third. The third is the cube root of 1 over 64. May clue na kayo dyan eh. Okay? Nagdi-divide tayo. So, the radicals are 1 of... The radical, the radical. I'm sorry. Oh, mommy boy. Nagnerbiosa ka dang amin winner ko eh. Okay, one over sixty-four. So the cube root of one over sixty-four is one fourth. I multiply mo yung one ng tatlong beses, magiging one ba balik sa dante. I-multiply mo yung 4 ng tatlong beses, 4 times 4 times 4, is equal to 64. Bumalik sa radicant na 64. That is, what rule, ma'am, Delma? It is the quotient rule. Ayan, QR. Okay? Now, uh, meron pa tayo, sa activity 1, meron pa kayong dalawa pang natitira. Sagutin na rin ninyo yan. Para sa inyo yun. Okay? Anyway, nandyan sa answer answer key. Okay. Now, may we have... Back to you, Mama Rilin and teacher. Marife, for the next roleta. Sana, meron na naman ako. Pambola, nung nakita yung ano. Ayan, inspired ako ngayon. Wow. Okay. Laki yung ngiti nung katabi mo, Mami Kors. Oh. <laughs> Kasi siya lagi na umuro. Oh, oh, Mukhang siya na naman yata itong susunod na Satisfied ako sa araw na ito. Yes. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much, Teacher Cora and Teacher Delma, for a very clear and detailed explanation. Congratulations to the first 10 students who got the correct answer. Mark Denver Blanza of 9 Anonas, mm -hmm. Natasha Perlton of 9 Darwin, Jewel Lacanilaw of 9 SPJ, Kim Berlin Kaingat of 9 Darwin, Hans Galinato of 9 SPJ, Ismael Pascual of 9 SPJ, Glyza Ann Salvador of 9 SPJ, SPJ na naman ha, Thea May Galabay of 9 Darwin, Almira Banyaga of 9 SPJ, and Gerald Fernandez of 9 Aki. Oh, di ba? Wow! Pero nakamati na nanonas. Kaya ang ngiti ng teacher eh, no? Okay, let's spin the wheel. Roleta question number three is Tantana. letter C, quotient rule. Yes. <laughs> wow. Almira Banyaga. Almira Banyaga. Yes. 9SPJ. Congratulations yeah. to Almira Banyaga of 9SPJ. Pangilan na ito ng SPJ. <laughs> Oy, oh. weekly to ha. Grabe, ang 9SPJ. Yeah. Pahakot. Napaka-active oh. ng 9SPJ. And of, syempre, contento na ako sa akin. Kasi kanina may, dalaw kanina may isa ako. Ngayon naman, 
meron na akong dalawa. O, oh, mamaya wow. tatlo na. Apat. Yes. O, oh, di ba? <laughs> so, salamat sa pagkikipag-participate. Nine Chico, Anonas, and Atis. And of course, sa lahat ng ating mga grade 9 learners na nakikipag-participate sa ating uh, matroleta quiz and sa ating discussion. Thank you so much para sa inyo to mga anak. So, question number four. may we have now question number four. So, simplify the square roots of 12a squared b cubed. Simplify the square root of 12a squared b cubed. So, here are the choices. A, 2ab square root of 3b. B, 4ab square root of 3b. C, 2ab squared square root of 3b. Okay, ano pang inihintay ninyo? I-type na ang iyong pangalan, ang iyong section, ang iyong quest ang question number at ang iyong tamang sagot. Okay. So this time, once again, may we will may we will ka. <laughs> <laughs> sa sobrang happy talaga. <laughs> Let's welcome our learning facilitators, Teacher Cora and Teacher Dalma. Yeah. Hey, thank you once more, Ma'am Marife. Okay, so next will be simplifying radicals. This is our second competency. Yeah. Right? There are three ways on how radicals are. Uh, simplified. One is removing the perfect nth powers. Second is rationalizing the denominator of the radicand. And the third is reducing the index to the correct possible form. Lowest possible form. Okay, so uh, next will be Ma'am Delma for the first Method in simplifying radicals. Okay, thank you, Mami Cora. Now, let's have the first. Removing perfect nth powers. So, these uh, are the things you need to consider. Nababasa niyo mga anak, sabi dito, things to consider. No prime factor of a radical that has an exponent equal to or greater than the index. So, ibig sabihin, Yung exponent, hindi dapat ka pareho ng index. O kaya naman yung exponent ay hindi din dapat um, mas malaki kaysa sa index. So, kailangan nating uh, tanggalin yung perfect nth powers. May example tayo dito. Example is square root of 50x to the fourth y cubed. So, let's see how do we re remove the perfect n powers here. So, with the given 50, we have, na, nawala, bakit? 25 times 2, nawala si 2. <laughs> Ay, nasa kabila. 25, kinuha muna natin yung perfect uh, squares. So, ano yung perfect square? 50, ang factors niya ay 25. Nasa kabila yung hindi perfect, ha? yung excess, kung baga. So, we have x raised to the 4, perfect kasi yan. y squared, y cube yung given natin, kaya yung isa ay nasa kabila. So, we have 25x to the 4, y squared times 2y. So, yung una ay perfect square. So, yan yung tatanggalin natin. What happens with that? Dahil nga, perfect square sila. Then we can get the square root of it. 25 is 5. X to the fourth. 4 yon yung nasa labas mga anak ay 2. Kaya 4 divided by 2, ang exponent niya ay 2. Then y is squared, 2 divided by 2, y times, meron pa tayong na, natitira na nasa loob ng radical sign, which is 2y. Yun yung hindi perfect yung square yung power niya. So the final answer here is, 5x squared y is square root of 2y. Yan. That is for our first part in simplifying radical radicals. radicals. Ma'am Cora, 
Yes, Ma'am Delma, thank you once again. Next is rationalizing the denominator of the radicand. Here are things to consider. There should be no radical in the denominator. So, wala ang makikitang radical sign sa baba o kaya sa denominator. Second, rationalizing is the process of removing the radical sign in the denominator. Paano gagawin ito? Okay, let us consider the first example or the example which is 5x. Take note, mga uh, grade 9 learners, 5x is not the index. <laughs> Baka mapagkamalan ninyong index. 5x multiplied by the square root of the quantity 3x squared over 2. How do we simplify this? By rationalizing the denominator. Okay. Uh, we are go Take note that the denominator of the radicand is 2. So, if we are going to have a breakdown of this, we have 5x multiplied by the square root of the quantity 3x squared divided by, ito na yung radicand natin, uh, radical, I should say, square root of 2. So, the denominator is square root of 2. Kapag may radical sa denominator, hindi pa yan nakasimplify. So, what will you do? If the radical in the denominator is square root of 2, you multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 2. Kumbaga, kung ang denominator mo ay square root of 3, i-multiply mo ang square root of 3 sa numerator and denominator. In that way, you are rationalizing the denominator or you are removing the radical sign in the denominator. Let's continue. Okay? So, we have 5x. Pero doon sa susunod na step, we have already 15x squared. Saan nang galing ito? Okay. Let's have the first radical in the numerator. That is the square root of the quantity 3x squared. How do we simplify that? That is 3x. 3x times 5x is equal to 15x squared. Then we multiply the product, uh, we multiply the result by the square root of 2. Kasi mumultiply natin ito. Ngayon, makikita nyo, wala nang radical sign sa denominator. Okay? The denominator now is 2. Wala na yung radical sign. How did we get that one? If we are going to simplify the denominator, that is 2 times 2, i-multiply mo yung, numerate, yung 2 at saka 2 sa kabila, magiging square root of 4. And what is the square root of 4? That is 2. So the answer, the simplest form now is 15x squared is square root of 2 divided by 2 or over 2. Yan ang sagot, okay? Uh, we'll have Ma'am Delma for the next explan uh, for the jump board. Yes, thank you, Mami Cora. Now let's proceed with the example uh, using our Google Jamboard. Let's try to simplify the given 12 root, o oh, diba, ang laki, 12 root of 8x raised to the 6, y to the 9. So we'll try to apply what we've learned here. Kaya lang, medyo umadvance tayo ng konti kasi pansin niyo yung index ay malaki. No? So how do we solve this? Yan. I select ko muna ang ating pen. So with this one, ang kailangan natin dito, pansin ninyo, um, this is, pwede natin i-rewrite si 8. Ano ba si 8? Is 2 cube. X raised to the 6, Y to the 9. Kaya lang, hindi natin pwedeng masimplify Si 3 over 12, 6 over 12, 9 over 12, pwede ba? Pwede. Pwede nating i-rewrite ito, um, hatiin natin, or we use the factors of 12 kasi may, may perfect cube dito sa given, sa radikan natin, 3, 6, 9. So, etong si 12, isusulat natin as 4th root, 
kukunin natin yung perfect, i-extract natin yung perfect cube. Nakuha niya kung bakit four, four truth, di ba? Parang, hala, nag-rigat me ten. <laughs> Saan nang galing si four truth? Cube root? Four truth of cube root? Ala. Panay root? Puro root? <laughs> bakit natin ginawa yan, mga anak? Kasi nga, dito sa... Um, sa radikan natin, meron tayong perfect cube. So, pwede natin siyang i-extract para ma-simplify natin yung given. So, this is 2 cube x raised to the 6, y to the 9 power. Ayan. So, for truth, extract na natin. Yung ginawa natin kanina, ang index niya ay 3, ang power niya ay 3. So, we have 2. Eto naman, i-divide natin. Ang exponent niya ay 6. Ang index niya ay 3. So, divide. 6 divided by 3, that is x is squared. And we have 9 divided by 3, kasi ang index niya ay 3, 3. So, with our given, it's actually simplified as 4th root of 2x squared y to the third power. Yan. So, sana naintindihan mga anak ha. So, nagsisimplify lang tayo. And now, are we ready? I'm not ready with the names yet. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Teacher Cora and Teacher Delma. O, nakita nyo naman yung 12 root? O, ano na nangyari? O, naging 4 truth. Okay. So, lumiit siya. Oh, basta ang importante, may root. <laughs> okay, so congratulations to the first 10 students who got the correct answer for question, for matroleta question number 4. The answer is letter A, 2AB square root of 3B. Okay, so we have here, U1 Hamlid, ay... Ivan. Ivan ito? Ivan. Ivan. <laughs> Sorry. Ivan Jamlid of 9 Darwin. Alison Kim Marzan of 9 Pasture. Jewel na naman. Lacanilaw of 9 SPJ. Glyza Ann Salvador of 9 SPJ. Ano to? Elena? Elena. Elena Tangonan of 9 Mendel. Ismael Pascual of 9 SPJ. Charmel Ann Ramirez of 9 Lansones. Wow! Thea May Galaboy of 9 Darwin. Kimberlyn Kaingat of 9 Darwin. And Melanie Sagusio of 9 Darwin. Okay. Sino kaya ang mananalo ng 30 peso worth of load sponsored by Ma'am Larna Tan Nevado? Okay, so spin na natin. Yan. Si Ivan lang yung may apelyedo. Pasensya na. <laughs> wow! Ay! Congratulations! Oh, diba? Ivan! Dahil ba siya may apelyedo? Jamlid. <laughs> oh, di ba? Of nine, Darwin. Ivan Jamlid of nine, Darwin. Oh, yes. Congratulations! Congratulations. Nanalo ka ng 30 peso worth of load sponsored by Ma'am Larna Tan Nevado. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Ma'am Larna. Matroleta question number yes, five. Yes, so now may we have now the matroleta question number five. Teacher okay. Marilyn. The last question na ito, kaya yan na, abangan na. Simplify the square root of 16a to the fourth power all over 5 or divided by 5. So a... 4a square root of 5 all over 5. B, 4a squared square root of 5 over 5. Letter C, 4a to the 4th power square root of 5 all over 5. So please send your answer to the comment box with your name, section, question number, and your answer. Okay, to give us the summary of today's session and the application of radicals in real-life situations, May we call on once again our facilitators, our discussants for today, Teacher Cora and Teacher Del. Rapid na. Fighting! Fighting! Sige. Next is slide, please. Sorry, sorry. 
Yes, ma'am Del. So we have here some applications of radicals in real life. Na hindi natin na mamalayan ay yun pala. Okay? First is in electrical engineering. We can use that to in medicine and so forth. Pero dito muna tayo sa electrical engineering. Okay. Ang liliit. <laughs> The measure to measure voltage. Uh, yeah. The measure voltage in I'm sorry. Ay, I'm ako na lang <laughs> ako na lang. Okay, for application of radicals in real life, um, for electrical engineering, we use radicals. That is when we measure voltage. V measured in volts, so volts. Volta, may pili ko lang volta, no? Parang ganun yun, mga anak. Volt. Voltage measured in volts. Electrical engineers use the following formula. So that is voltage is equal to square root of P times R. Where P is the power measured in watts and R is the resistance measured in ohms. So si Sir, si Sir Roni ang naalala ko dito eh. Okay. We also have... Um, radicals in medicine. Kikita nyo dito, anak, sabi dito, doctors can approximate the body surface area of an adult. Okay. Pwede pala yun, ano? Surface area natin. In square meters. Using an index called BSA, where H is height in centimeters and W is weight in kilograms. So, body surface area. Oh, BSA. And also, kaya na ba ito, Mami? Hindi pa din. Okay. Okay. Sa geometry naman ito, using the Pythagorean, ay, geometry ba ito? Algebra. Geometry, kasi triangles. Using the Pythagorean theorem, find the value of A. Using the formula, of course, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared plus And we have the example there. Um, also, in solving for the area of isosceles right triangle. Ayan. Ano pa? We also have application in astronomy. Anak, astronomy ha, hindi astrology. <laughs> astrology, naalala ko yung table natin dun sa ano. Hula, hula. Astronomy ito mga anak. The orbital period na wala. <laughs> of a planet is the time that it takes the planet to travel around the sun. You can find the orbital period in Earth years using the formula P is equal to square root of D cube, where D is the average distance in astronomical units abbreviated AU of the planet from the sun. So... Those are the different applications of radicals in real life. Okay, for the summary of today's session, we discussed a while ago the laws of radicals such as the power rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule. Secondly, you learned how to simplify radicals using first, removing perfect and powers. Second, rationalizing the denominator of the radicand And the third is reducing the index to the lowest possible form. Uh, back to you. Thank you so much, Marie Teacher Fair. Cora and Teacher Delma. So, masayaw na si Sir Jocelyn and Sir Dennis. Okay. So, may we have now the winner for our last matroleta question. So, congratulations to the first 10. Students who got the correct answer, Ismael Pascual of the answer is letter B. Four A square root of, I four A squared square root of five over five. Okay, so Ismael Pascual of nine SPJ, Jewel Lacanilao of nine SPJ, Glaisa An Salvador of nine SPJ, Edesa Monique Santos of nine Lansones. Jasmine Akpal of Nine Guyabano, Angel Ann Domingo of Nine Lansones, Fatima Manukdok of Nine Lansones, Norilyn 
Ganela of Nine Lansones. Naku, matutuwa masyado si Mami Cora dito. <laughs> Lorelie Faye Orate of Nine SPJ and John Mar Galande. Yes! Yan Warrior of Ten Tanggile. Yes! Bakit ganito hey, nag-landslide ang Nine Lansones? <laughs> <laughs> May grade 10. Okay. Yes. Okay, spin na natin. And congratulations to, wow! Jewel Lacanilao of Rhino SPJ. Every week na nanalo ang batang ito. Congratulations, Jewel Lacanilao of 9 SPJ. Congratulations na! And of course, thank you so much to our benefactor, Ma'am of Matalive sa Facebook Live, Ma'am Larna Tan Nevado. Thank you po and God bless you more. Yes, before we finally end this session, let's reflect on a quote from Angela Davis. Radical simply means grasping things at the root. Ano daw ang ibig sabihin mo, di ba? So radical should have a positive undertone. So pag sinabing grasp at the root, so simply put in order to see a change in a system, on one must understand the conflicts fixed origins. So, yung pinanggagalingan daw at pinanghuhugutan ang yes. ating pagbibigyan ng pansin. Yes, Kaya okay. Na? We would like to thank our production team, our technical specialist, Teacher Joshua Kiliermo and Sir Dennis Mendoza. Yan, tignan mo naman. Hindi masyadong pinaghandaan yung picture. So, our assistant principal, Ma'am Ruby Kiliermo and to so our officer in charge, the Chief Education Supervisor of the Division of Isabella, Sir Rodrigo V. Pasqua. Thank you so much, sir. Special thanks also to our supervisory head, Ma'am Merlinda Didante, and yes. our learning facilitators, Teacher Macorazon E. Molino, Molina, <laughs> <laughs> Molina talaga. Teacher Delma F. Quaresma, our Jamboard writer, Teacher Marley Jean A. Espirito, and Teacher Naida V. Mangabat, our electronic raffle organizer. Of course, thank you also to our radio script writer for today and presentation designer, my co-host, Teacher Marilyn Martin Juliano. Yes. Thank you for joining and staying, uh, staying with us today. See you again next time on Mata Live sa Facebook Live! Bye! At tabayanan ang susunod na RBI lesson ng Great 10 Science! 10! Siyempre, Great 10 yun! Bye! Stay safe! Pre-calculus, Advanced Algebra, Intermediate Algebra, Trigonometry, Elementary Algebra, Geometry, Mga Araling Dapat Tukasin, Mathematics Learning Area, Mathematics Kahit Saan, Kahit Kailan, Mathematics, Maaasahan Inyong Tututukan, Dito Sa 106.3, DWDRFM, Basta Dance Radio, Learning is Amazing! <laughs> Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance, Dance. Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radyo. Hating namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan. Ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Be ready. Be ready. For something big. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio Doña Aurora National High School Santa Rita Aurora Isabela This 106.3 DWDR-FM